how do you deal with negative peaks on refractive index? Um, so negative peaks, most of us have never seen a negative peak. It looks like a positive peak, but it goes negative instead of positive. And uh, in the refractive index world, welcome to refractive index. That is the deal. Refractive index is looking at the difference in refractive index between the mobile phase and your analyte. Um, most analytes will have a positive uh, a, a peak, but some may very well give a negative peak. Um, from a chromatographic perspective, it's totally valid. A negative peak is the same as a positive peak. Peak shape and, and symmetry and everything still applies. The software can deal with it if you tell it integrate negative peaks. A little checkbox, integrate negative peaks. It'll integrate them just like positive peaks. So in the refractive index world, it's not uncommon uh, to get a negative peak it, uh, with the refractive index detector. If you're getting that on a UV detector, that's a problem. That's a separate issue that we need to talk about. Um, uh, in UV, you get a negative peak at the T0. That's fine. That's totally acceptable. If you get a negative peak anywhere in the middle of your chromatogram or at the end of your chromatogram when you're running uh, a UV detector, that is an indication that um, uh, uh, usually you have a reference wavelength that's set at the wrong wavelength. So a little bit of an obscure issue, but on a UV detector, check back and I'll do a video on that one as well.